What's going on friends? Hope you guys are all doing good. I've got an announcement today. It's not a fancy tutorial or a fancy behind the scenes video. It's just me talking about something cool that I've been working on. Especially if you're into color grading, then this is even cooler. So, a little backstory. When I started filmmaking, I also started doing color grading. But I was really fast demotivated because I was only grading my own footage and I really wanted to experiment with other footage. Now, you of course have art grid and film supply, I think. Um, you know, you can download footage from there and grade it, but it's very expensive. So I wanted to find something that bridged that gap. So I came up with grading footage. So grading footage is basically packs of clips of recent projects that I've did and then media managed down into a specific way. I am going to show you what way and how it works, but uh, first let's head over to the computer Enter my website, the link can be found in the description below, shootwest.com. There's also a little explanation on how to pronounce my name, nice. Head over to the grading footage tab and you can find a bunch of packs here, right? So these are, for example, uh, the By the Seaside pack, which is a video that I did for Sony. Maybe you've seen it, if not, link is in the description below as well. Um, so if you click on it, you see a collection of ungraded original codec 10 frame long clips from the project By the Seaside. Um, and if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see what it was shot on, which lenses was, were used and what kind of settings I used. I will make this a little bit fancier in the, in the future, but for now that'll do. And then of course the project itself can be found there as well. So if you click on download, go to the cart and download it, you'll be, uh, you know, downloading it. <laughs> then you'll get a zip file, unzip it and you get these clips. So the good thing is that all these clips are, as mentioned, in their original codec. So for example, Red Raw or Airy Raw or ProRes Raw or whatever the camera is recording in. But if you drag this into DaVinci Resolve, you can see that all the clips are only 10 frames in length. The reason I did this is because now you have the original codec, you can grade on it, you can see what the grade does, you can learn from it, but you cannot really share the video because it's 10 frames, it's not watchable. That is why I can give this stuff away for free. If it would be a longer clip, it would become a stock footage clip. And of course that costs money. Um, so this is a way for me to keep it free and to keep it usable for you guys to practice on. So if we check the color page, you can see that the source resolution is Ultra HD at 10 bit and the codec is H264 high 422. Um, so that's basically what the FX30 shoots in if you put it at the highest resolution. So it's pretty cool. So you can grade the original clip. Um, so if I smack on a LUT right here, bam. You can see that it looks pretty good at an instant. That's pretty fast, but that's what it is. You can at least practice on the footage and see what your grade does on my footage, but hopefully also others footage in the future. So if you have a bunch of good footage laying around and you perhaps want to support a community, then hit me up and we can see what we can do. Another thing is if you have graded something and you want to share it on Instagram, make sure to use the hashtag grading footage. Maybe you can tag me as well, that's fine too. So I can see it, make me proud because I put a lot of work into this and I really think it can benefit uh, aspiring colorists that don't have the resources to get their hands on a bunch of, you know, different footage, except of their own. So that's that. All right. See you guys um, real soon. Peace out.